Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Imperialism as the Nation of Phoenix. Where we are about to find out whether or not I'm making a colossal mistake in trying to intercept these fleets. Uh, we still just want to buy, buy, buy as much as we can, even if we can't really take advantage of it. Uh, no combats whatsoever. Okay. Uh, you're now idle because there are no more hills. Yeah, just stay at home. And I believe you've bought everything you can in this country. Yeah. Okay. Guess you're gonna go home then. Stay there. Stay there. Oh ho! Yeah. He's actually trying to land in our capital. I believe. Enemy beachhead. Well, that one is definitely going for Phoenix, but is that one going for Phoenix? Or is he going for the province next door? I actually can't see. Uh, no orders this turn. You are gonna just try to catch whatever ships you can. And then you're gonna patrol in the next sea zone if you... Uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, he's in the next sea zone. They all are. Well, this is problematic. If he's invading in this one, which I'm actually not certain of, this could be a really, really bad idea. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Some units are gonna go home, defend the capital. We're gonna build more ships. Yeah, more commerce raiders. Because I really like them. They're just better frigates. Better than frigates. And we're probably going to use the extras for cuirassiers. Yeah. And we're probably going to do the same thing next turn. One commerce raider and one more cuirassier. And after that we're going to have to shift focus to heavy ships, I think. Try to get a few ships of the line out. See if we can build a fleet capable of meeting our enemy on the high seas. Status. Military strength. Yeah, we are ahead there. Zim is very weak. Patagon is very weak. So you'd expect them would be the, those two would be the first to cave. I mean, their merchant marine is pretty much gone. We've taken it all. I don't know. Okay, let's see how what we can do this turn. Hopefully we'll clear out some of those. Then we go over here and try to hunt more ships. See if we can sink some there. I don't know. It does not need more wool. Yeah, I know you're saying that, but... I'm still just terrified of the prospect of blockades. Okay, let's buy less units then. By all the coal, though, and iron. Okay. Yeah, located on color from transport network. Yeah, that was to be expected. Not that one, of course, but these two are now located. Okay, so there are ships here, but we can't find them, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna let them stay there and uh, try to defend. Uh, for now. 
You guys all wait. You wait there as well. No, yeah, this turn I can't transport all the other goods, unfortunately. Yeah, one more commerce raider. And one more cruiser. Ah, uh, we just aren't getting enough more units in. Oh, that's why we lost so much money. We didn't sell anything. Yeah, I know, but because we our poor industry is now poor. Ah, anno annoying. Uh, because unlike them, I'm not able to uh, funnel resources into industry. Oh, oh, okay. In that case, I have to see if I can spare the resources to attack Pramnik soon. I don't think anyone there is gonna want peace, but I'm gonna try anyway. Ah, try one more turn to see if we can take these ships. If not, we're gonna move over to the next sea zone and try to get them there. Yeah, we do not need more, I know. But I'm kind of worried that if we don't buy too much, we're going to have in trade interruptions and things are going to go downhill from there. Yeah, I'm going to build up to Tanley. Set up shop there. You finish that gold. That's gonna mean money in the bank. They are no longer trying to intercept us here. Or anywhere, apparently. Okay. Um. How many cannons I'm gonna need to take on Pram now? Yeah, I can't do that this turn, unfortunately. Let's see, I have two defending artillery there. None there, two there. See if I can group up the navy and then we'll probably... Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get the proper naval engagement, but I can't seem to do that. So we're going to go here and see what we can do to disrupt them. Yeah, and I'd like to expand our navy, but our industry, but I kind of need to focus on getting a larger fleet. As much as I'd like to do this, but... Ah. Only that we'll have enough lumber. Not enough coal, not enough guns. Okay, build some furniture. We're gonna need money. And that's all we can offer. That's all we can... yeah. So let's see, what are you doing? You have an embassy with those two, that's okay. This, uh... Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have an embassy with Cathay. Next. Yeah, I don't know. I need wool. I really do. I need timber, definitely. 
I need coal. Um, yeah, here we go. Piracy! We lost an Indian man. And he interrupted the trading. It's the same one? Yeah. I'm Esger, just one of them. Uh, and he conquered a province, okay. Uh, then I forms alliance with Zim. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> they can ally all they want. Uh, at this point, it's not going to hurt us. Because they're all at war with us anyway. Uh, let's go and start investigating this country. So I have two units of artillery, three of cavalry, wait, three? Didn't I send all four there? Three cavalry, uh, okay, maybe I didn't. Yeah, those two commerce raiders are just gonna try to protect our fleets, trade fleets. We lost one ship, unfortunately. We have less guns this turn, next turn. Oh. I want a heavy ship. And a commerce raider. Yeah, sure. And let's not convert that into furniture. That's gonna be sold. You never know, they might suddenly decide. But a very, I very much doubt it because of the alliances. So yeah. Ugh. Okay, we have two units there. Where did I put that last course here? Ugh. I mean, I did build another one, didn't I? Ugh. Oh, he's still at home. Oh. That, that explains it. Um, ah, boo. That's not where I wanted you. Okay. It's going to be very likely defended. If I do that, but I kind of want to try to do this. I want to kill this this one off before... Oh, he's trying to land here, huh? And yeah, that's gonna work badly for you, buddy. I kinda want to take on the small nation before they become a subject state. Because then he could reinforce it rather easily. And that's not something I want to happen. So I'm gonna try to capture that now. Just finish off from there. And after that, we'll have to see if we can slowly inch our way forward and just eat away here. And still, the, there's still this issue with the, the ships here, and I can't seem to capture them. Which is very bad for us. I'm going to do that one more turn, and I'm going to split the navy. I think, and send some of them to see if we can blockade the port of Bergen. See if we can destroy Zim completely. After which we have to do the same for the, all the others, but yeah, we're gonna need a very large fleet if we're gonna both be able to defend our home node and kill them. Ah. 
Okay, does not need more bull. Uh, yeah, I kind of think we do, though. And maybe not so much. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. Yeah, auto deploy. Yeah, and I only have... Oh boy. Ouch. Yeah, that that's gonna hurt. We're gonna have to wait until he moves. And now we have to charge. And yeah, you pretty much have to. We might be able to destroy that one at least. And possibly. Yeah, yeah, okay, we managed to destroy one. That's not horrific. Yeah, that's all we could do. <sighs> yeah, and that's unfortunate dates since I moved away my entire army. So now I don't have the forces to counterattack, and he's able to attack further, which is even worse. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sneaky, sneaky AI. And you're still trying to attack there. Ah. How many forces can I move? That's size 16. Okay. That's size 12. Oh, that's okay. So I can leave two extra infantry and two artillery. Yeah. Bugger all. Yeah, I fudged that one up nicely. Okay, scratch the scratch the pad. I don't need more navy. I need boots on the ground. And lots of them. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna need to start recruiting more people then. As I've said before, I've never had a situation where it went this horribly, horribly wrong. It most definitely has gone horribly wrong. Ah, oh boy. And I'm not sure if I can recover. I'm re still very uncertain of that. And, you know, not to think about it, I'll cancel that. We did do this, so I'm gonna go do that. If it works, great. If it doesn't, boo. Yeah, because this campaign is going down the drain rather quickly. Uh, and worse still, these guys are not catching anyone, so you're gonna go over here and blockade the Port of Bergen. And once you've done that for a while, I'm going to go send them over here and blockade that porch. And see if I can force them to become weaker. Yeah, I have to decide now. Do I want to defend... Uh, 
Nie, Fiatax. To nie That's pretty bad. But. Yeah, we probably should go down there and try to defend a little bit that. In case he wants to push on. Well, now at least I'll have more troops ready to counterattack. I might even want to move these two if I can. Nah, leave them defending there. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to just clear out this area and then be able to move troops back. Try to lessen the front. This seems to be the only way. Yeah, purchase only one unit. Okay, we're going to buy very cautiously. I'm going to be aggressively on the cold. And we are attacking, as I know. Auto deploy. He has one artillery and four extra infantry. So let's see here. We are going to have to charge with the cavalry first. Once we're in position. It's not going to be pleasant. Keep our general around. Um, move down there. Don't want it to blocking. Don't want you blocking the artillery. Once we have to send them in. Stay. You are going to go to the front line there. You there. And you have nowhere to go. Hmm. Okay, you go there. Next turn, and we're gonna take damage, no matter what, so... There we go. And if he moves in closer, he'll take even more damage. But he kinda has to. Because he has a range of 3, these have a range of 5. So he'll get... Yeah, he'll take a lot of hits. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, stay there. I'm gonna move you close, but not close enough this turn. Uh, you're gonna move here. And you're gonna move... there. Now begins the fun part. We need to take out his artillery. If we do that, we've basically won. Because then we have range, so we can... Mm, destroy him. Ah, uh, that's probably not a good idea. In case he wants to retreat, we kind of need to keep the a path open. And then we just move forward. And now he attacks. Did he destroy a Corsair? Did he seriously destroy a Corsair? One, two, three. No, we only have three here, I think. Uh, but did they all fire? No. Yeah, move away. You're so badly damaged now that kind of don't want to risk you. Uh, yeah, yeah, he still hadn't fired. Okay, that's okay. Now, just charge, kill. And go back. Uh, go up here, rally. Move back. And now we have to defend our artillery a little bit. You're badly damaged. Retreat. And 
da, da, da. retreat a little bit. You're very badly damaged. You can go all the way back there. These are front lines, so they can go attack. didn't exactly. <sighs> what do I do? We try to murder him, I guess. And you are gonna go down here and rally the light artillery. Just try to destroy the few units that have some morale left. I believe that's all of them. So now we just try to finish them off if we can. Uh, no luck there. I'll try to do that one. He retreat. Uh, he surrendered, I mean. And those guys just retreated. Cavalry can't enter the fort. Go figure. Um, go here, rally. The only thing they can do is boost morale, so... Minutemen. I don't think he can charge across, so no, that's nothing he can do. Okay, so we took that province at the very least. Took some damage. Uh, and now we took the capital of a minor nation. Uh, just so you know, the minor nation capitals, even if they are conquered like this, they'll still buy goods on the open market, so even if all the minor nations are conquered, you'll still be able to sell goods. Just then. And this is also the benefit. Your Excellency, I'm pleased to report that due to our glorious conquest on the, of the capital of Pram, our new troops will be trained in an expanded armory and start with one medal. So, we have that little edge going for us. And uh, let's see, he has no cotton fields, no. Okay. And he's still trying to establish basic infrastructure. Keep defending. Keep defending. Are we being invaded anywhere? Yes, we are. I can't move everything there, of course. But that's kind of important, so I kind of have to move everything I can. Um, I don't need a general there. I do need the artillery. All of it. Can I move any other units this turn? No, I can't. I cannot. The fleet is ready there. Uh, there are four warships on on type, two frigates, one frigate, on on type few number, uh, two raiders. Just try to see if we can blockade him. I'm trying to get some kind of naval engagement going because. I think I'd be able to at least keep on par with him at this point, but not having much luck. And I kind of need to have some fleets at home because defense. I assume at least I can defend. Hmm. 
Yeah, we were going to train more troops. Three. Right, because we had now no an extra province. So let's do that. Now we have to... This is going to cost money, but... It must be done. It must be done. We are desperately short of an army, so... I want more of an army. Uh, at least given how wide a front we have. I don't need to... yeah. So that's the problem. All the artillery is now moving up here to defend against this, because that's a game over condition. If he attacks further towards here, that actually works somewhat in our favor, because then we can attack with our, all our artillery and everything. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can succeed here, but we'll have to keep trying. He's landing still in... Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. I'm not really enjoying this game because I, I don't like the warmongering when I'm not... Uh, in clear superiority, <laughs> which I'm clearly not here. Uh, still, we haven't died yet, so... There's that. And I'm still wondering, Devron, aren't you gonna attack us? I mean, everyone else has. Why not you? Huh. I think it's fairly useless to try to ask for peace. They're not gonna go for it. Uh, military strength, yeah, Sim is definitely the weakest. And should probably probably be our first target. Our strength is significantly greater. Though I wonder... I, I wish I could see how much of this is navy and how much of this is army. Uh, Devron is actually like a lot less than us. Not sure how that's gonna... Not sure how that's possible. And I'm still not sure why I can be at the head in industry when I'm listed as poor on the <laughs> other ranking. Uh, internal transport, yeah. Don't have much here, because our ports are blockaded all the friggin' time. And I don't really know how to unblockade them. At this point. Ah, we have five ships there protecting. Now we'll see how this goes. I'll keep trying. So, I'll take a short break here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll continue to do so.